everyone, I hope you're all okay. Today I've got um, a big haul for you. Um, I've actually just come back from London. You can probably tell I'm in my new bedroom and it has all been decorated. So expect a room tour very, very shortly. The quality of this camera should be a little bit better as well because I've actually got a new um, HD video camera. Um, I'm not sure what I think to it too much just yet. Um, I'll write the name of it in the bar underneath the video because I can't remember it off the top of my head. But it is full HD um, 1080p quality. So that's what I'm filming in right now. So hopefully it should be much better for you. I'm going to start with the bulk of it which is from Mac. Now um, before you start complaining at me because I did get a lot of stuff from Mac. Before you start complaining saying that I'm spending too much money um, I actually got 35% off the whole of this um, bag of shopping because um, I actually went shopping with Nikki Jackson on the Muse course and she's a pro um, artist so she got the discount from there. I did spend a lot of money, I agree with that, but it is all for my makeup artist kit. Well, most of it is anyway, I got some little sneaky things for myself, but um, yeah. So, let's get started. I'm going to start with brushes first, because I thought that they were the things that were going to get me the most discount off, as they are probably the most expensive things. First one is the MAC 138, which is a tapered sort of dome brush, this sort of shape. You can see it there. It's so, so soft. And I probably use this as Tanya Burr does to contour in the cheeks with a contouring powder. I then got the 189 brush, which I haven't seen on YouTube at all really. It's this brush right here. And they actually say that it's from Mineral Foundation, but I would not use this from Mineral Foundation really. Um, I probably use this um, on the Muse course. We used it for cream contouring, just because it's got that thin... Um, that thin tip and you can really sort of get in the under the cheekbone there and really sort of buff it out and get a great sort of natural looking contour so that's the 189 from MAC then I got the 188 I'm sure you've all seen this one before this one is dirty because I oh sorry Gemma's just texted me Gem's maquillage it's really weird because I text her in her recent video and she's just texted me in my video strange I'll text you back soon Gemma <laughs> It's basically like the 187 but smaller as you can see. Then I got the 252 which is just sort of a flat um, lay down eyeshadow kind of brush. Just a flat brush like this. 252. That's the only thing about this camera is that the focus takes a lot longer. You see it's now in focus. The focus takes a lot longer than I would like it to but that's okay. The 194 from MAC which is fat and it is a concealer brush then I got the 224 which is the infamous blending brush really soft domed brush 212 which is a flat brush that a makeup artist called Francesco who we worked with he used this an awful lot and for under the eye and it was great that's the 212 just a flat, very thin, precise brush. 231, which is actually marketed as a concealer brush, but um, Nikki used it as a lip brush, and I know the Pixie Wee girls use it as a lip brush as well, and it is amazing. It's got this sort of round tip, so you can just use it like on the Cupid's bow, and it's already, you know, it does that perfect shape for you already, so it's really, really good, that one. Then I got the 219. Which is a pencil brush which I've been wanting for absolutely ages. It's a little short stubby brush, great for socket work, under the eye, another good brush. Then I got the 266, this is the last, last brush that I got, which is just an angled eyebrow, eyeliner, anything you want in a brush really. It's a nice one. I got a blush palette um, and then filled it up with three Pro brushes because I actually went to the Pro Max Star. So I'll show you the blushes that I got. This bright, bright pink one is called Azalea. It's that one. 
this is cantaloupe and this is salsa rose. But you can't get them from Ordinary Max as you can only get them from the Pro Star unfortunately, which is in London. Um, I've got a cream sheen glass in the colour Fashion Whim, which is just a neutral um, peachy pink colour. It actually is a lot more, a lot brighter than it is looking on the camera. I got um, a brow set, this is just a clear brow set, basically just like a clear mascara for brushing through eyebrows and setting them in place. Then I got, what are these, um, Smolder Eye Curl, which is again well talked about on YouTube, it's just like the blackest of black curl eyeliners. Then I got, what's this, Pale Yellow Eye Pencil, which I think is pro only as well. Um, this is great for on the waterline, inside the eye, it just really brightens it up and gives you sort of a fresh, fresh look. Uh, what was this? Pearl Cream Colour Base. Just a shimmery highlighter. If you can see that on this camera, sorry. Um, yeah, that's just a great sort of cream pearl highlighter. Then I got Virgin Isle Cream Colour Base, which is so bright. Da -da -da. And it's so pigmented, like hardly touched it and great. You can use it on the lips and um, cheeks. I use it as a blusher really. And Subculture Lip Pencil, which is just a nude, great everyday lip liner. Great as a base for lipstick as well because it sort of mutes out your lips a little bit. And um, Minimalized Skin Finish in Gold Deposit. Gorgeous. Then I got some eyeshadows. I got Brun, which is a dark brown. Mystery, which is a slightly lighter brown. Omega, which is again even lighter than these ones. More of a beige taupe colour. Coquette, which is a sort of a, a slate concrete colour. And I got these for to put in a little um, a little quad palette. Yeah, I'm gonna put those in there. And that's gonna be my brow palette. Then I got um, amplified lipstick in Show Orchid. <gasps> so excited about this! Wow, it's just a bright, bright pink, and it's got sort of like a violet, purple reflex to it, but not glitter. Just like the whole thing is kind of like shining with this sort of violet undertone but that's just gorgeous. Satin lipstick in the colour peach stock which is what I'm wearing now. I got that for myself so I can put it on straight from this and um, yeah peach stock it's just a nude sort of brown um, brown nude colour very very creamy and that's my big max splurge. Okay, so from Illamasqua, this is what I got. I actually went to Illamasqua, um, kind of like a lesson thing with Spob, the film makeup artist. Um, Kate Pettigrew is already there, and Nikki Jackson, and Mika Doll. Um, yeah, lots of people there who I got to meet, really excited about. This is the um, Four Colour Liquid Metal Palette, and it was in the Art of Darkness sort of sleeve. But this actually was from a collection quite a while ago. I think it was... It wasn't Dystopia, was it? I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> but um, this is what it looks like. And it's this one. So these are called Liquid Metals. And they're basically just sort of shimmery, um, metallic creams. And um, you can use them on the eyes. Um, they do crease though. Um, as a cheek highlight for the silver one and the gold and the bronze and that sort of antique metal colour. I then got both um, precision inks that came out with the new collection. One is called Alchemy. Look at that glitter in the eyeliner. I'm going to have to wait for this focus to focus because you've got to see this. Dun dun dun! Wow! mesmerising. <laughs> then the second one is called um, Abyss. I think it's called, I think that's how you pronounce it. Abyss and this is a black. 
they do have a little ball in if you can hear that you do have to give it a little shake first and this one literally looks like black liquid latex it's gorgeous like it's got a sheen to it when it's wet but that sheen stays when it's dried as well and seriously guys these things do not budge once they're on um, I'm wearing the gold one today and it just it doesn't move and my eyes like water loads and you can get in the bath with these you can sleep obviously when they've dried you can get in the bath shower anything you can scrub them and they won't come off but they will come off and um, I think Spob told me to put I think it was her someone someone told me to put olive oil on them and give them a little rub and then they'll come off but as soon as that's dried I'll show you you can rub them and they won't come off look you can scrub them and scratch them and they won't come off. Then I got the sealing gels. We use these a lot on the Muse course, so I thought I'd get some. It's £10 for two bottles, which is good. And these are just basically a little drip drop bottle of sealing gel. And what you can do is you can get an eyeshadow or um, a pressed, like a loose pigment eyeshadow. Um, and you can put one drop of this into the eyeshadow and mix it around and you've basically got yourself a permanent liquid eyeliner like it it lasts as long as these do and then the last thing from Illamasqua was this blending brush and this is the blending brush number one but I can't use it because this little plastic thing that covers the brush head will not come off I have to get my boyfriend on the case for that later <laughs> That's my Illamasqua goodies. Um, from Ico, I got the Ico cream with the extra glow. Really nice packaging, it's all shimmery. This is what it looks like. I'll show you the pot. Just shimmery, pale pink. Can you see it just there? There we go. I went over to Charles Fox in London and um, Here's the little booklet, how gorgeous is that makeup? Bought the Gem Colour um, Concealer Palettes and I got the one in Fair. I'll just show you what that looks like quickly. Really great variation of colours there. I'm not going to touch it because I'm going to use this in my kit. But I um, just get a spatula and scrape little bits out at a time. Um, some great, great colours in there. And then we've got a little goodie bag with some things in. Some little freebies. We got um, a Stargazer eyeshadow, number 40, turquoise colour, a little sponge, don't really know why they gave us that but I'll try and find a use for it when I do my Halloween tutorial. Lilac sort of coloured eyeshadow in the colour Harmony from Krylon. Can get it out. Like that. Um, I got a lipstick from Krylon. L120 it says. This is the colour, it's sort of a deep burgundy autumn red. That's nice of them. And then I got one of the aqua colours, one of the really really big ones. And this is in the colour um 483G. I don't know. Again it's a lilac. So that's my Charles Fox stuff. That's pretty much it. I do have some really nice um, things to do with hygiene from the promakeupshop.com but I'm going to do a separate video on these um, reviewing them because I think they're great. Okay, so that is my giant haul video. Sorry if you found it really boring. I know some of you will have liked it and some of you will have hated it. So I'm going to have to edit it quite a bit now. <laughs> but I'll see you in my next video everyone. Bye bye.